Well, the dog sculptures that were spread around downtown Bemidji over the summer can now be a permanent fixture in your home or business. Lakeland News reporter Cheryl Moore tells us about the doggies in the window for this week's In Focus. I'm guessing that if you ask the children, this might be the favorite dog. It was down in front of Lucky Dogs during the summer, and almost any time that you went by there, you found families with the children up by the dog getting their pictures taken. From the streets of downtown Bemidji to their temporary resting spot at the Watermark Arts Center, these pups are on the hunt for their forever home. And it could just be in your home or business. We ordered a dozen dogs, just fiberglass sculptures, different breeds, different positions, different sizes. And then we invited a dozen of our local artists to come one Saturday morning and pick out the dog that they would like to decorate. The Sculpture Walk dogs are currently up for auction. Bidders will gather at the Watermark Arts Center next Thursday starting at 5 p.m. to try and win their favorite pup. For the white portion of the dog, he took electric wire with white insulation, cut it into pieces, and hot glued each piece into place. For the darker areas, he went out and cut twigs. The people who walk away with these dogs at next week's auction will not only be getting a unique piece of artwork, they'll also be getting a story that comes with each dog. This is one of my favorite dogs. 200 kids from K through 8 at Schoolcraft painted this dog. You can check out the dogs at the Watermark Art Center all next week. And if you don't live in the Bemidji area, but still want to get a hold of your favorite canine, you can call Stacy at 218 308 3876 to ask about remote bidding. And just remember, all the money goes to a good cause. The money that we raise through the auction is used by the Bemidji Sculpture Walk so that we can do this again. We hope to do it again in a couple of years. Reporting of Bemidji with this week's In Focus, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.